Before we talk about a diode check, we need to understand what is a diode. A diode is an electrical device that allows current to flow one direction but not the other. At least that's what we're going to talk about you know, in most circumstances. There are all kinds of different diodes, but for basic function it allows current to flow one way but not the other. In order to do a diode check, we first have to make sure our meter is set to the right function. So we're going to turn it on to second notch here, which actually has several different functions. So we're going to have to hit the mode button until our diode symbol comes up so we know we're on the right function. And now we can check our diode. First I'm going to hook it up backwards. The current should not flow this way, which it does not, so I get an OL reading. Now I'm going to swap my two meter leads. Touch both sides again. Now this time I do get a reading. And it's saying a 0.508 right now. But that is basically telling me is how much voltage drop there is across that diode. So that is a good reading. That's telling me what we should get. Now, this was a good diode. If I were to have a open diode, no matter which direction I connected it, I would get an OL reading. If I had a shorted diode, both directions I connected it, I would get all zeros and it would tell me that diode is short and allows current to flow either direction. Diodes can be used in all types of different circuits. Also, it may be used on a board that if we are trying to troubleshoot the diode itself, we have to know how to use this function correctly and understand whenever you see one in a schematic, you know, what that diode's function is. That generally, again, we're using this to control flow in one direction only. That way, if you had, say, two different switches that control a device, you don't want the one to back feed into the other circuit. So, they use a diode to prevent that from happening. But if that diode was shorted, it would allow it to backfeed to the other circuit, which you would not want. Or if it was a open diode, that switch would no longer be able to turn that device on. So it's very important you understand what that diode's job is and how to properly check it.